I'm Miss Murray with Wilder Middle School and I teach seventh grade life science. Today we are going to be reviewing experimental design. Alright guys, so today we're going to go over our warm up and then we are going to do our vocab review and you guys have a unit one quiz. So let's start with our warm up which is identifying independent dependent variables and writing a correct hypothesis. So. The instructions were to read the question, highlight the independent yellow and the dependent blue, and then write a hypothesis. Raise your hand and tell me what is the independent variable. It starts with an I, and it's what I? Looking for a specific word, Giovanni. Change, it's what you change in an experiment. And the dependent is what you, raise your hand. Dariana? Hmm? What it's what you measure. Excellent. And how do we write a hypothesis? Uh, an if-then statement. So, for number one, what effect does studying with music have on student test scores? You guys tell me, what is the independent in that question? Kevin. <laughs> studying with music. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that with my yellow pen. And then raise your hand. What is the dependent in that statement, Malia? The test, the test scores, the student test scores. And what kind of hypothesis could we write for that question, Giovanni? If the students study with music, then they would have a higher score. Good job. All right, number two. Let me go back to my yellow. What effect does food color have on the amount of food that fish eat? What is the independent in that question? What's the independent? Kevin. The food color. And what is the dependent? What, Dariana? The amount of food that the fish will eat. And what kind of hypothesis did you guys come up with for your fish question? What kind of hypothesis? Giovanni. Okay, if I feed my fish a darker colored food, then they would eat it more, okay? Some of y'all got specific when I was walking around. I saw if I feed my fish purple food, then my fish will eat more. Number three. What effect does light have on plant growth? What's my independent? What's my independent? Kevin. Light. All right. And then ladies over here, what's my dependent? Kenya. Plant growth is my dependent. What kind of hypothesis could I come up with this question? What could be Malia? Okay, but what's refer back, so the beginning of it was good, when you said if the plant was in the window getting a lot of sun, then, then the plant would grow more. Remember, you gotta refer back to both variables in your hypothesis. All right, last one. What effect does a student smiling have on a teacher giving no homework? What would my independent be, Kevin? Student smiling. And what is my dependent going to be for that question, Giovanni? Giving no homework, the teacher giving no homework. So if you guys smile at me, I will give you no homework. And what kind of hypothesis could we come up with? If the student smiles, then the teacher will not give any homework. And that would be an appropriate hypothesis. All right, excellent. Make sure you go ahead and submit this for your warm-up grade. So go on ahead and submit this. And then what I want you to do next is going into today's folder in Schoology. I want you to click on the next activity. And I will also bring it up on the screen. So we are in the Monday 10-4 folder. We've just done our warm-up. I want you clicking on Vocab Review. I'll go over the directions and then you guys are going to do your vocab review before we take our unit one quiz. And this is the vocab that we've been learning 
thus far. And when you open it, go to this slide. When you open it, go to this slide. You got it? All right, so what we're doing to review our vocab, you've been given a word, and there is audio in case you want to use my headphones or your own that will say the word out loud to you. Then you've got an empty column that says definition. What do you think you're going to be clicking and dragging to that column, Malia? The green boxes. Those green boxes are your definitions. You want to drag the correct green box to the correct word. And that's what you're going to do. So the definition column is just you guys dragging the correct definition to the word. Then you're going to look at the picture after you've done your definitions. You are not going to move the pictures. They're exactly where they need to be. I chose them for a reason. You can make them bigger or you can make them smaller so that you can see them better. You are going to type in the connection column. You'll actually type connecting the picture to the word. So, once you find the definition for hypothesis and you say the word out loud and you read it, there's the picture that I chose. How does that picture show that word? You're going to explain how that picture shows that word. Why did I pick that picture for hypothesis? Again, you can make the picture bigger, and you'll notice some pictures have little red circles. You're going to pay attention to what is circled in the picture because that's the reason that I chose it. So you're going to work independently on your vocab review. And if you have any questions, you guys are going to raise your hand and let me know. And we can, who wants to do the first one together? First, just the first one. First one together? You want to? You, OK. All right, so y'all raise your hand. What's the definition of a hypothesis? Look at those green boxes and someone raise their hand. Tell me the definition, Brianna. Which one, which box do you think it is? Okay, so say that out loud. Excellent. So she is correct. So you would take this box, what you think is going to happen. Now look at the picture that I chose and raise your hand. Why did I pick that picture? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this. Okay. And then what am I, what would you type in the connection piece? Why did I pick that picture, Malia? Because it's an educated guess on something. An hypothesis is an educated guess. And you'll see that on that picture it says the word guess on little blocks. And that's what a hypothesis is. It's an educated guess. It's a prediction of what you think is going to happen. So that's why I chose that picture. So you are connecting the picture to the definition of the word. And you're going to go through and do that for each vocab word that we've learned with Unit 1. So it means like what we just did when you raised your hand um, and you answered the definition and then Malia told me how it connects. You're connecting this picture to that word. So if you click on it, you can make it bigger if you need to or you can shrink it. You're telling me, why did I choose that picture? So you'll see it says guess mm -hmm. on the blocks. So why did I pick that for hypothesis? Because what is a hypothesis? Yes, good, because the light's changing. Yes, how tall the grows. Good job. Something like constant, what does it do? You can just point to it with your cursor if you want. 
Okay, so the independent is what you change. We know that from the definition. So why did I pick this picture? Because what's different with each picture? The amount of light is different. That's why I chose it. All right, I think everyone's done with their definitions. Tell me, what is which green box goes with independent? Raise your hands. Which box, Brianna, goes with independent? What you change in an experiment. Excellent. What is our dependent, Giovanni? What you measure. What you measure. Ding dong. Good job. What are constants, Malia? Uh, what are constants, Malia? Things that what? Well, I'm asking what constants are. Constants are things that what, Kevin? Stay the same. And what is our control group in an experiment? I only have two green boxes left. What's our control group? What is the control group? Our control group is what? Um, Brianna. A group in a scientific experiment. Is that what the one you're going for? Okay. <laughs> It's given nothing, and it's used for comparison. And the last one, sources of air. Kenya, what are sources of air? What does a source of air mean? Mistakes that can affect the outcome of your experiment. And we talked about they could be human, they could be environmental, they could be something wrong with your instrument, but it causes a mistake which messes up your data. All right, everybody should be on that connection piece, connecting that definition to the picture. So thank you for visiting my class today and joining us as we reviewed experimental design, learning how to write a hypothesis, how to identify our variables, and doing some vocab review.